Yeah, my name's Hugh Evans and I'm responsible for the uh, Sports Public Relations course here at Euclid. If you want to study sports PR, this is the only course of its kind in the country. Um, if you want to study it at an undergraduate level. And really, it covers the whole sort of gamut of public relations and um, sports management, really. Um, you'll be looking, in terms of how the course is delivered, you'll be looking at lectures, we'll be looking at seminars, we'll be looking at workshops, we'll be spending a bit of time in the uh, TV and radio studios running press conferences and doing media relations work. Um, and also, you'll be working in or within um, UK Progress, which is the only student, wholly student-run um, public relations agency in the country. Um, and uh, what we'll be doing in that is we've got some very exciting uh, um, projects going with uh, some uh, elite uh, sports clubs. Um, the one for next year, or the big one for next year, is we've got a, um, a project uh, running with um, Wigan Warriors Rugby League Club. Um, on top of that, we've got guest lectures from, um, from some of the uh, top public relations people within the industry, um, not only from the elite clubs, Manchester United, Liverpool, um, Sales Sharks, we've had people, but also from the, uh, the governing body. We'll have people in from um, uh, golf, the, um, um, the golfing unions, we'll have people in from the um, England and Wales Cricket Board um, and we're hoping to have somebody in from the, uh, from the BCF as well, the Cycling Federation. The kind of skills that they'd be, uh, the kind of skills that they'd be looking at is media relations, so basically how to write press releases, how to produce um, um, interviews, or, uh, broadcast interviews, uh, press conferences, that kind of stuff. I'm sure everybody's sort of seen uh, the Alex Ferguson sort of press conferences, that kind of stuff. Well, our students would be the people basically who organise those and who run them. Well, public relations is an industry which is changing constantly. Public relations is an industry which is developing constantly. And one of the areas where it's developing probably more than uh, most other areas is within sport. What you've got to remember is that um, the newspapers have to produce, or the vast majority of newspapers produce a 16-page supplement every Monday um, for sort of looking at sport. They don't do that in any other area of news at all. And that's why public relations is, uh, is so important, because you've got um, sportsmen and the sports area generally that realise that they're so dependent upon, um, upon uh, a good reputation, a good image, a good media relations, um, and they want the best people, they want uh, well-trained people to, to be on that. Now then, why do people enjoy it? Because they would enjoy the buzz of public relations and to do that within a sports environment. Well, obviously we've got the uh, we've got the run of basically all the facilities um, at UCLan. We've got um, a lot of uh, the teaching work from uh, that is done in the lecture rooms and the seminars um, within the public relations uh, department. And that's uh, it's the oldest. It's the best, it's rated the best public relations uh, department uh, in the country. But on top of that as well, we've got all the excellent facilities that are here um, within journalism. We're talking about um, uh, studios, we're talking about um, uh, press conference rooms, all that kind of stuff. And also within sport itself. So we're looking at first class facilities across the course really. Well, it's a policy throughout uh, UCLan that students are encouraged and employability skills are one of the big, big uh, um, priorities here within uh, the university and we're no different to that. We would, uh, we'll, be looking at, um, we'll be looking at employability, the students will undertake placements and in fact we'll help them with getting, uh, employ um, um, getting into suitable employment um, on, upon graduation. In terms of employability after, um, after graduating, well, we've got a very good track record. We've got people in the uh, British Cycling Federation, we've got people in UK Athletics, we've got people in uh, all kinds of, uh, or who have graduated from here, in all kinds of um, levels of uh, football club, elite um, football club. We've also got people um, who are working for companies that sponsor sport, for example. Um, we've got, uh, and, and more at the grassroots level as well, uh, looking at sponsorship, looking at media relations. Um, so we've got a we've got a really good um, employability uh, record. On top of that, of course, um, there's a huge demand for it. That was one of the reasons we started this course, and it's the only course in the country of its kind. Basically, if people want to work in sports and in public relations, they're going to come here. 
If they don't, if they don't come here, then where? It doesn't exist. One of the stimuli in starting uh, this course was that we've realised that um, when you have major sports events in this country, uh, you tend to experience a spike in interest, or if there's um, um, a lot of success uh, within a certain kind of sports in this industry. Now then, they're expecting that spike to happen for the uh, London 2012 Olympics as well. And one of the things that they've sort of said is that they've got plenty of coaches, they've got plenty of clubs, they've got plenty of equipment, they've got plenty of facilities set up for this expected spike. One, um, the one area that they're short in is communications officers. So that's one of the reasons that we started this. Um, and basically, lots of people, or this is recognised throughout the industry. Sports public relations is one of the uh, quickest growing areas of public relations within the industry. Um, and we've got an awful lot of, um, of cooperation. We've got an awful lot of work that will happen both within the industry, within sports public relations uh, agencies and in-house uh, departments, um, uh, within sort of football teams, rugby teams, etc., etc. Um, so uh, we should, um, as well as working within the university, we should have lots of work out on placement as well and work done within the industry. We recognise that students can be very different at the age of 18 to when they're 22. And obviously, uh, in, this current, um, in this current climate, then students need to be able to transfer skills from one area to the other. We teach public relations, um, so basically they will, be, uh, they will be able to take a job in any sphere of public relations. UCLan offers an opportunity generally for students to study abroad. The problem that we have um, at the moment is that this is a unique course. There is no other course like it in the UK. However, um, it is quite, um, it's not uncommon um, overseas, especially in places like Australia and in the States. So I can't see in the future that there would be any problem if uh, students wanted to take a year out um, to study in the States, where quite frankly the industry is far more developed than it is here, um, or even in Australia, I can't see why there would be a problem uh, or any obje objection. Um, in doing that. But we're really in at the absolute birth of this, um, of the topic really and of this subject. So uh, the courses are sort of few and far between. Having said that, um, it would provide, I feel, a good basis for any communications based um, postgraduate study. Um, and it's a vocational, it's a vocational course which will stand the students in good stead should they decide to, uh, to take either a further degree or go into employment. My background is in um, journalism and public relations. Like lots of the old traditional uh, PR people, I came into public relations from, uh, from journalism. Um, but my passion, my PhD, my, pa uh, my PhD work, my passion is all about sport, um, and I just marry the two together um, uh, in order to, uh, to to run this course because it's such a growth area. Um, if students want to work with, uh, if students want to work with um, sportsmen and women in the future, if students, if that is their passion, then this is the course for them, really. Um, in the future, it's going to be far more widespread. It's a huge, booming area. Um, and we're there right at the genesis of this. Um, I would say if students want to uh, be part of it, then they need to come here. They need to start on the course. They need to be the first to graduate, and they need to get into it. There isn't a lot of sports PR going on at the moment, but it's in its infancy. But it's a real booming area. And where it is being practiced at its best um, are in the Northwest. We're talking about football clubs like Manchester United, Manchester City, Liverpool, Everton. Um, we're talking about rugby clubs, rugby union clubs like Sale Sharks, um, which, has taken, which has undertaken a major rebranding in the past three or four years. And we're talking about things like uh, the Rugby League, which has had to um, get really into communication um, and really into public relations in order to survive and start to thrive again, really.